Hello everyone. By request, I am going to make a series of coal snake tutorials on how to use and create your own Earthbound ROM hack. This tutorial will be going over the basics and exploring the file structure of a decompiled Earthbound ROM from Coil Snake. First thing you need is an Earthbound ROM. I'm not going to tell you how to get it yourself, but just find a way to get it. I'm not going to tell you how to get it. Second of all, you cannot decompile a ROM hack. So, for example, you can't de decompile this because Coil Snake is going to throw an error. Don't know why Coil Snake does this. It would be nice to decompile some ROM hacks, but I can also tell why you can't because you don't want somebody decompiling your ROM hack and then claiming it as their own by editing their own stuff into it. It could be an improvement, but still. Second piece of software you're going to need is, obviously, Coil Snake. You can get it at the link in the description, or you can go to this URL that's on the screen right now. To download it, simply go to Tags, Releases, and scroll down. Then, click on the executable file, and then run it. Some stupid antivirus software such as Bitdefender can recognize Coil Snake as a virus. It is a false positive, so you're going to want to add it to your exception list. With all out of the way though, and launch up Coil Snake. Here is the user interface for Coil Snake. You have a few main tabs decompile, compile, upgrade decompile script, apply script, and create patch. Under tools you have EV project editor, ROM expansion tools, and header ROMs. Under settings you can configure some stuff with coil snake so you can make compiling and other stuff so much easier. Under help it's just normal help. So the main tab we'll be looking at here is decompile. Go ahead and select your ROM and select your folder that you're going to decompile Earthbound into. It's just going to be this folder and click decompile. And then click yes here when it asks you to overwrite the current context of the directory. And it should be decompiled now. Now go into the folder that you decompiled Earthbound into and open it up. Here you'll see all of the foil. Then go ahead and open up the folder that Coil Snake decided to put all of its files inside. Most of it is a bunch of YAML files, but we'll get to them later. We're going to focus on the folders right now. The animations folder is all of the animations that Earthbound uses. Technically it's not all of them, but you can try and look and figure this out. See, this is when Ness and Paula get knocked out in the Hotel Aunt Freed. And if we go into another one zero here, this is the Photo Man Vigenette here. Battle BGs is battle backgrounds, so we'll put it in the tile mode here. Um, you can see all of the battle backgrounds here, so I think this one was used for a Starman fight, but I'm not 100% sure. This is Ness's Nightmare, obviously Gygas, Gygas Phase 1, something I don't remember, the third strongest mole fights. You get the idea, and here are all these sanctuary backgrounds. 
for battle sprites. Obviously, these are battle sprites. Because, so here's the Octobot, the Tree Master Belch, French Kiss of Death, uh, Ghost of Starman. Sorry, I'm slurring today. Um, my brain is just all over the place. Uh, the Hippie. Yeah, basically just all of the battle backgrounds. Sprites, sorry. The cast is... Basically, the end credits of Earthbound. If you finish the game. The CC script folder will be blank. And I'll show you how to decompile CC script in a moment. Fonts. These are the fonts that can be seen in game. If you want to edit fonts, you're going to need a graphics editor named Graphic Scale. I'll link that in the description. Images or logos here. Ape. Basically, all of these are related to title or game over screens. Or, you know, Soundstone. You can edit these as long as you're meeting the requirements of Coil Snake. Because Coil Snake can be really picky with it. Music. All of these packs you'll get to edit with EB Muse Ed. And I'm not good at music editing myself. So, I'm not going to show you how to edit music. You're going to have to figure that out. Unfortunately. Unless I figure it out then... I will make a tutorial on it. Sprite groups. These are all of the sprite groups that are shown in Earthbound. So here's Nesses. All of these do need to be edited with graphic scale also. If you're just going to add a few pixels and not change any colors, then that's fine. But if you want to add new colors to the sprite groups, then you're going to have to edit the color palettes, which is relatively difficult and difficult if you don't know what you're doing just use a sprite palette manipulator that's all I'm trying to say we have staff basically all of the credits here and yeah we have a bunch of characters here basically the ent entire alphabet and we have staff text which is basically the credits so produced and directed by Shigesato Itoi you can edit this to Itoi Shigesato and vice versa if you want to of course swirls these are the battle battle swirls or see this is PSI shield or normal shield this is the I um, that is the lightning one, two player, or any other attack two player PSI related. Sorry, I'm spacey right now. Um, this is the Gigas transition. Don't know how they consider that a swirl. Um, here's the standard battle swirl, and here's the nope, this is the Gigas incom incomprehensible attack, and here's the battle swirl tile sets. These can be edited in the EB project editor and if you're really skilled you can go into EB map editor. I don't know how to use that since I don't mess around with maps. Title screen. This is obviously the title. I used the reference PNG to add the gig strikes back text on my ROM hack but you can edit something different as long as you know you are in the palette town maps are obviously the assets of the town map see like here's foreside summers oh that you get the idea free tucson and window graphics 
basically what I did was sharpen the edges of these window graphics and copy the exact same thing to everything else. Same with here. Was this a smart idea? Probably not, but in the future I plan to do sharpen all of these and put them in to improve. Those are all of the folders you'll be looking at. And to decompile CCS, you're going to want to go to decompile script and you're going to find the ROM you want to decompile the CCS from and select the root folder of your project, which would be this, and click decompile script. And then you click yes. This might take a minute. But after that, you can go back into the CC script folder and you'll find all of these CCS files that can be edited using Notepad++. Um, a bunch of pointers. Now, when you look at a CCS file, it can be confusing, but once you get the hang of it, you can swiftly edit CCS without any problems. So let's make a change to this so we can recompile. I am going to edit the title screen real quick. Actually, no, let me just drag and drop it from PSI Gamma real quick. As you can see, I'm totally original with it. So now go ahead and open Coil Snake back up. Go ahead and select your base ROM, your project, and then the output ROM. You can just put this as anything. and then click compile. You're going to get an error message saying expand your base ROM. This is needed for Coil Snake to correctly add the changes. So go ahead and click yes. It's going to expand the ROM and then begin compiling. And once it's done compiling, you can go ahead and test it out inside of your preferred emulator. My preferred emulator is BSNES, so all I have to do is just double click it. And there goes my OBS profile. <laughs> there you go. There's the updated title screen for you. And as you can see, it's not PSI Gamma. Everything is good here. So, yep, no tricks. That is all 100% Coil Snake. So, that is all for Coil Snake Part 1. Catch you later. See ya.